Hello and welcome to this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial by ProfileTree. In today's episode we're going to talk about speed ramping and how to make use of this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, so the first thing I want to just explain is why you would use a speed ramp. So obviously if I drag in a clip into my sequence here, um, I'm sure most of you will know, depending on how experienced you are with Premiere Pro, how to adjust the speed of a clip. Um, so we simply just right click and go to speed slash duration or for shortcut click the letter S and we can adjust the speed of the clip. Um, so the reason that we're going to do a speed ramp rather than just change the speed is because you get a more gradual progression um, and it definitely is a lot more um, aesthetic um, and because it's not used as often um, it's definitely a way to spice up your editing as it may set your work apart from some of your competitors or some of your other if it's classmates that you're working with or for whatever reason you're using Adobe Premiere Pro um, so it's definitely a good thing to have in your skill set so what we're going to do is drag in any clip to your sequence I'm just going to unlink this audio and get rid of it and um, we're just going to be focusing on the video track and we can go ahead and make that a little bigger um, so that we can see it and what we're going to do is right click on the FX part of the video clip and go down to time remapping so let's do that again so that's gonna, we're gonna right click on the FX square and go down to time remapping and then click speed. Okay. Okay, so we'll zoom in a little and drag it over so we've got our clip right where we want it. And then we're gonna go down to our pen tool. And what we're gonna do is set a marker. And then we're gonna, with the left cursor, we're gonna click and hold and we're just going to drag out. So now what this has done is created a midpoint. So anything left of this is completely different to anything on the right. So this is letting Premiere know that that's where the speed change is going to occur. Or the ramp as we would call it. So we're going to go back to our selection tool on the left hand side here. And then we're going to drag our speed and you'll notice that it creates the ramp. Um, notice the clip has been cut short a little because it's obviously got a little faster um, but that is essentially how you create the ramp and you can adjust that as much as you want. You can change these so it can be more gradual. Um, so we can go ahead and play it and see how it looks. So just as the car goes past it speeds up and then it goes back to normal speed. Again, you can make it a lot more gradual um, if you feel that it's too sharp and you can just play about with that. So definitely a good thing to have in your skill set. Um, any questions, please leave this in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.